Are you tired of feeling weak, exhausted, and constantly distracted? The harsh truth is, in a world that no longer hands out hard work and life lessons on a silver platter, men have become weaker and more distracted than ever. But here's a golden nugget of wisdom. A man who pursues hard work will lead a far more fulfilling life than one who chases comfort. Why? Because men are biologically programmed to find purpose and fulfillment in hard, meaningful work. Strip a man of this, and all that remains is a hollow, depressed shell of his former self. Take a good look around, my friend. This entire generation of men is shunning hard, meaningful work, and the results are disastrous. Just observe their relationships, businesses, morals, and values. It's all a colossal mess. Today, I'm going to share with you the five toughest life lessons that most men unfortunately learn too late. If you're still young, pay close attention. This could save you from years of heartache and regret. Lesson 1. The relationships you form and the people you choose to share your life with are of paramount importance. Love and women will be among the most significant choices you'll ever make. Yet many men have repeatedly chosen the wrong path in this regard. Interestingly, a survey of several millionaires and successful individuals revealed that 90% of them shared the same piece of advice for achieving success. It wasn't about the industry to invest in, the number of hours to work, or the time to wake up, it was about the women and relationships you choose to be a part of your life. Yes, my friend, it's a choice that can either make or break you. Consider the cases of Will Smith and Johnny Depp, who unfortunately associated with the wrong women, leaving a dark stain on their reputations and lives. Contrast this with Conor McGregor, who credits his supportive partner for his perseverance through wins and losses, claiming he might have quit long ago without her. Countless marriages crumble because men choose their partners based on fleeting emotions and temporary euphoria rather than a thoughtful assessment of the person they're dealing with. Typically, men tend to choose the worst possible partners, hostile, unfaithful women who have never known love or care. These are the traits of women to steer clear of. However, the real issue arises from the romantic feelings that develop for such women. Romanticism, the creation of the modern era, is far from beneficial or ideal. When romanticism solely dictates your relationship choices, your love life is doomed to dissatisfaction and infidelity. This is because in the past, relationships were founded on facts and logic, not mere romanticism. Lesson 2. Reflect on your current perception of happiness. You probably envision working for a reputable company, having a family, owning a house, and accumulating wealth. Yet many men who achieved these goals discovered it was actually a nightmare. They found themselves trapped in jobs they despised, unable to properly love and provide for their families, and drowning in mortgage debt. The fundamental error here is placing complete trust in someone else's definition of success. Remember, my friend, success is a personal concept that varies for each individual. For one man, success might mean living a long, healthy life, while for another, it could mean sacrificing his life for his country and dying young. Neither is right or wrong. It's your purpose. Embrace it, cherish it, and don't let anyone impose their definition of success upon you. I've encountered numerous university students who chose a course because their friend did, only to regret it later. They look back after two years and lament, I should have chosen the other course. I've wasted two years of my life. This applies to your purpose and definition of success as well. Learn from others but don't succumb to their influence unless it directly benefits you. Lesson 3. It may sound trite, but the vast majority of men today fail to fully comprehend the meaning of this lesson. Imagine squandering the prime years of your progress in a dead-end job, neglecting your health, and wasting time in a casual relationship with a subpar partner. After years of this lifestyle, you'll understand why there are so many videos urging you to make the most of your 20s. Depression, financial instability, and a deteriorating relationship will become your new priorities and your life will descend into chaos, uncertainty, and mediocrity. Living a casual, go-with-the-flow life is arguably one of the gravest mistakes a man can make. A man is a leader, a conqueror. He doesn't merely go with the flow. He creates his own current. Remember, my friend, your daily life consists of actions, while your future is shaped by the consequences of these actions. Everything you do today could either bless you or lead to your downfall a decade from now. The key to avoiding a bleak future is developing critical thinking skills. If you train your mind to make significant, life-altering decisions effectively and confidently, 
you will hold the reins of your destiny. Lesson 4. As men, we are naturally inclined to dominate. It is our instinct and desire to take control and lead. Therefore, obeying someone else's orders can be detrimental to us. Now, don't misunderstand me. Obedience is a valuable virtue, but it depends on who you are obeying and why. Consider a World War II soldier. It was crucial for them to obey their commanding officer. Failure to do so could result in their own death or the deaths of their comrades. However, in today's manipulative world, it is often better to say no than yes. Most men remain obedient to the wrong causes, crowds, women, and bosses. If you're unsure when to obey or resist, here's a simple guideline to hone your judgment. If you're coerced into doing something unnecessary that doesn't benefit you in any way, remember that you're allowing yourself to be oppressed. When you consider this and reflect on all the instances when you allow people, organizations or systems to control you without reciprocating, you'll realize how indoctrinated you truly are. The solution is straightforward. Prioritize yourself above all else. Don't be selfish but focus on self-preservation. If you start valuing your time and decisions more, you'll no longer be dominated by others when it's unwarranted. And finally, Lesson 5. Too many men squander their lives with the worst possible people simply because they consider them friends or can't cope with loneliness. As a result, they lead mediocre lives, fueled by instant gratification, and allow their goals to wither due to others' disapproval. Meanwhile, men who embrace monk mode end up transforming the world around them and achieving everything they desire. The journey of self-improvement is challenging and lonely. Often, you'll find yourself torn between choosing success and solitude or friends and mediocrity. The truth is, even if you choose the latter, you'll ultimately feel miserable, whereas the former will only bring temporary sadness and loneliness. So stop squandering your precious time with people who don't reciprocate. Become invincible, even if it means others will resent you for it. Have the courage to distance yourself from them and confront the world alone, at least temporarily. If you found this video helpful and want to see more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share the Glam Health channel. Your support helps us create more impactful content for you.